Hello everybody. All right, time to make a little video for the Railway Series fans, me being one of them. These two are in progress. That one's mine, that one belongs to James, a friend of mine, who's also an SEF. Right, so, mine is not finished yet, but we are getting close. I've varnished the main paint colour, and you'll see the texture's not 100% perfect, but it's, on the whole, pretty good. That sheen, in my opinion, looks a lot more metallic. Some people say varnishing, when you're glossing things, makes them look a bit toy and plastic-like. And personally, I think it looks better. It's a lot nicer. You can see you've got 14, 36 plates on it. Like I said, just this is very, very close to being finished. There you go. Nice little metallic looking sheen. Kind of deceptive, almost looks like it's an etched brass kit, but it's just a Hornby item. And this one, it's not been varnished yet and it's still being painted, so you see the, the finish looks different. But it's getting there. I had to repair. Um, a pipe on the cab and about to replace the handrails there I need to add a I think it's a water pump not sure, a little pip looking thing so that's the Oliver Progresses there's another Oliver Progress this is a P4 chassis that I did not make I actually bought it as a job lot from Sleeper Agent if you know who he is for those who don't know, P4 has wider wheels, thinner wheels, thinner flanges, wider track gauge, etc. And it wasn't running. Well, I mucked about with it, soldered that to that, and fed that wire through and soldered it to the contact. And it's a pretty good runner. I also stripped the gears on it. There's only really one gear and a worm, and like a drive shaft. Uh, Got some thinners, took out the old oil and grit and put new oil in. Bent the wheels a bit because it was slightly buckled. And I've got almost a perfect runner. Slight jerk on the go, but mostly pretty bang on. And this chassis should fit in that body. So that's bloody awesome. Right, so now to show you two that are finished. First of all, you have James's duck. Okay. Again, nice etched 5741 plates. I'm filming now because the sun's shining through, so you've got a nice, clear visual on it. On it, although it does cause contrast and issues, but never mind. I'll give you a nice little look to it. I'll show you some still pictures at the end, anyway. There you go. Real coal in the bunker. That looks a lot better with this paint. I've repainted it as well. This is a paint I've used if you're interested in trying it yourself. Okay. And I've varnished it with this gloss version by hand. Although I thin it slightly. You've got to be quick. But I think it looks a lot better. And these sandboxes are 3D printed. Because my duck had the sandboxes made out of balsa wood. Right, I will be getting a, an actual smoke box door for it rather than just a face. So I'll replace the balsa wood ones with these 3D printed ones on both of these models. Now, the reason I've repainted this duck is because the colour before was okay. I was never that happy with it, but it was getting a bit grotty, so I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll basically varnish it 
and it could bring the colour out more. But in doing so, I took off the GWR transfers by accident. So these are actually Fox transfers, transfers decals, as a replacement. And they're a little bit more yellow, they're a brighter colour. So it's opinion what you prefer, really. But there you go. A much nicer shade of green than the Backman one I had. Now, James's Backman shade was different, but mine was more quite dull. I will probably make another little video, and these are completely finished as well. But, well, you get the idea. Face is not on, that's just blue tech. So, I'll leave you with some stills. Uh, drop us some comments, tell me what you think. Cheers. Thank you.